Dr. Kelly Knight from the Wildlife Center of Virginia. I'm the Assistant Hospital Director. And our fearless president is stuck on the Jamestown Ferry. So, so we're going to go ahead and release the bird, and he may be here by the end, but we don't want to hold anybody up. And especially we know we have the Daily Press here. Thank you for coming, and they're on a deadline. So the Wildlife Center of Virginia, we are a hospital for native Virginia wildlife. We are located in Waynesboro, Virginia. Anybody been to Waynesboro? Know where Waynesboro is? We're between Charlottesville and Stanton. And we were founded in 1982. And since then, we have taken in over 65,000 sick, injured, and ill wild animals. And our goal is always to return them back to the wild, which is what we're doing today. So to tell you a little bit more about this bald eagle we're releasing today, this is a hatch year bird. So it was just born this spring, probably in March. That's the average hatch date for bald eagles in Virginia. And it was found here in Windsor, Virginia, by an animal control officer, Tiffany Webb, who is here with us today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to go ahead and tell them the story of how you found the bird? Um, sure. So, thank you. <laughs> so, I found the eagle. We got a call out for an injured eagle. Um, they weren't sure quite what was wrong with it. They just knew it wasn't flying, and they didn't want their dogs to get it. So. We were out, we went out there, patrolled the whole house, didn't see anything until we were just about to leave. Corner of our eye, we just caught this big, broad winged bird and we're like, there it is, just sitting there. And uh, we walked up to it and I was from, from me to Kelly and it wasn't moving. It wasn't wow. trying to get away from us, it, nothing was wrong with it. Or something was wrong with it, but nothing was, it wasn't trying to get away. And uh, we, didn't have we don't have bird cages we don't have bird gloves with us so it was eventful trying to catch it um, we had to use blankets we put some blankets over its head and used a catch pole to kind of ease its head to the ground as I got to go behind it and scoop it and wrap it like a burrito um, and then I had to hold it with, with nothing all the way to the vet's office <laughs> and anytime it wiggled i had i was cl like death grip clutching it so it was not about to scratch me it was very scary but once in a lifetime i don't think i'll ever have that opportunity to hold an eagle that close to me again <laughs> but it was amazing <laughs> great so a big thank you to tiffany for finding <laughs> taken to the Smithfield Animal Hospital and then they transferred it to us to our wildlife hospital in Waynesboro. And what was wrong with the bird is it was showing signs of potential head trauma. It was incoordinated, it um, was having some head tremors, so potentially this was a teenager who was just learning to fly, who maybe got hit by a car or ran into some sort of structure. So, you know, these, these baby bald eagles, they grow up and leave the nest really quickly. Within three to four months, they fledge, so they fly from the nest for the first time, and it's kind of the equivalent of a 16-year-old with a driver's license. <laughs> They're not quite sure what to do. Luckily, he recovered very quickly and responded to treatment for us, and we were able to have him fully recover. So we then started the process of rebuilding his flight muscles flight conditioning and training him and letting him grow up because these guys are still dependent on their parents until they're about four to five months of age. So now he's a five to six month old bird who's able to be on his own and can survive out here in the wild. Um, so what else can I tell you guys about the Wildlife Center of Virginia? Yes. How do you teach them to hunt? All right, so what do eagles eat? Anyone know? Fish. 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 They eat small mammals. Yeah. Whatever they can. Rodents. They also are scavengers. So they eat dead things. They'll eat deer piles that hunters leave behind. They'll eat roadkill. So because of that, we're fortunate in that we don't have to teach them to hunt because they actually can survive completely on scavenging. And most of their skills appear to be instinct. And so this guy was with his parents all the way up till he fledged. So he learned skills from them. And then the rest of it is instinct, so he'll be able to survive on his own. Who else has questions about eagles or the Wildlife Center of Virginia? You do catch flights with them before you let them go? We do, okay. yeah. So this, we do flight conditioning. We have a 100 foot long flight pin. That's the standard for eagles. 
and we start them flying at about five passes per day and they go through exercise every day so it's the equivalent of physical therapy for them until they can build up where they can fly 15 passes back and forth sustained with good stamina with good technique and once they've done that we know that they're ready yeah. other questions yes is this one wearing a tracker of any sort this one is not so the um Virginia Game and Inland Fisheries Department, they decide what eagles they want to track. We work with them for that program. So the one we released yesterday had a backpack on. This one they decided not to. Um, so he, he does have a band. If for some reason he was ever found mm -hmm. again, he has a federal band on that has a number where he could be tracked. But he does not have a GPS backpack on, so he won't check in. Yeah. So. Other questions? Oh, sorry. Let me get Tiffany real quick. Go ahead. Are you the only um, wildlife rehab center that works with eagles and rehabbing eagles? No. There's actually several throughout the state. You do have to be a Category 3 facility, and that means you have to have a veterinarian on staff. Okay. Um, but we do, as well as Blue Ridge Wildlife Center, as well as Southwest Virginia Wildlife Center, as well as... Um, Tommy, your group in Virginia Beach. Wildlife Rescue and Response there in Virginia go. Beach. Yep. Okay. So, yes, ma'am. Does it have the large um, alphanumeric on the leg that you can see in the scope? Yes. Color band? Well, it's a, it's a steel band. So he doesn't have the color band? He doesn't have the color band. Yeah, it's a steel band and it does have a number on it. Yes. So. Uh, excuse me. Yes. What do you recommend if one of us lay people discovers a large wounded bird? Yes. That's the first step. Yes. Call, Call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Call the Wildlife Center of Virginia. We're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have an emergency number. If it's after hours, leave a message. If it's an eagle call, we will call you back right away. Um, you can also call your local animal control. They are very knowledgeable and helpful and work with us closely. Uh, there's also on Virginia Department of Fish and Game's website a list of all the wildlife rehabilitators in the state who are permitted. And you can find one in your county and contact them and then they can tell you what to do. <coughs> yeah, great question. Are anybody else have questions? I How many people in the state of Virginia have license to gather eagle feathers? Ooh, that I do not know. So we um, we send all of our eagle feathers and parts to the national repository, and they distribute them to Native Americans and other groups who have requested them. The national repository in there in Colorado. Who do you call them? We call them. We, we what do we do? If you if you guys find one or what? One? <laughs> if we find so, like, if you find one, you can bring it to us, or you can call them and they. Probably, let, we mail them in, and they would probably tell you where to mail them. Other questions? I got a question. Yeah. So the eagles, when they don't have their white, yeah. how, how long is it? Yeah, good question. So when I get this eagle out, you're going to see that this bald eagle is all brown. Anybody know when they get their white head? Four and a half to five. That's right. So by their fifth molt by the time they're five years old, then they get the white head. They start off completely brown, and each year they get a little more white, so they, they look like dirty. They have like a dirty head or a mottled head in between until they're five. So. Yeah, good question. Yeah. My husband is deployed, but we came for the one back in um, yeah, uh, January uh -huh. or February, yeah. and he was like, I want you to ask him, why does that bird not have a white know? head? Yeah, yeah. yeah. when did they get it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. So. You're telling them. Any other questions? So the bald eagle is a huge success story, not only here in Virginia, but in the United States. In the 1970s, there were only 50 active nests in this state. And now today we have over a thousand. Does anybody know why that is? The pesticide that was banned that was killing DDT. eagles? DDT, yeah. So that was um, causing us to lose a lot of hatchling eagles and nests and eggs. So thanks to the ban on that pesticide, this species has really rebounded and it's no longer on the endangered species list. Uh, do you take a survey of the nest site so you'll know approximately how many there will be? We don't, but Fish and Game does. Yes, okay. that's but somebody the, our state biologists okay. do a lot of work on that. There's yeah. um, a professor at William & Mary that yeah. does a lot of work with eagles and with nest scouting. 
And they have the nests yeah. online. You can see they have a map. That yeah. You can see where all the nests in Virginia are. Yep. And, and a lot of the nests have cameras if you want to watch the eggs hatch and the juveniles grow up. So. Anybody else? Everybody ready to release the bird? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. You guys will make a V starting at that end so that we basically create a runway for this bird. And I'm going to toss them. Yeah, that's how pretty it was. Turn away from it. Everybody ready? Everybody want to do a countdown with me? 